then you spend about $4,000 more, you come out of donut hole. So whole thing will cost like $6,440. Okay. After you complete that amount, you are covered 95% again. Uh, through healthcare reform, we are trying to get rid of this donut hole system. That's the goal. Okay. But, to that, but it will take up to 2020. Okay. It's going to take 10 years, but we already finished with one year, so nine more years. Okay? <laughs> so that's true. Um, but 2011, the immediate change is that during the donut hole, person will receive 50% off of brand name drugs. That's the change for next year. Okay? And then the... Um, they will keep giving us the 50% discount, the, the pharmaceutical companies. But Medicare will pay 5% in 2012 and 2013. I don't recall the exact um, in a rate, but it will keep increasing their responsibility. And by 2020, your out of pocket 100% cost will go down to 25%, which is the original state before you fall into donut hole. Okay, so that's why by 2020, we're foreseeing that donut hole will not be there anymore. Okay. Uh, so one of the immediate changes that happened in 2010, only 2010, people who fall into donut hole received $250 check from Social Security. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's, that was uh, the month you fall into donut hole. Everybody received $250. Now, people who don't fall into donut hole kept asking me, where's my check? <laughs> so, and then in order to uh, explain the $250 check, we have to explain the donut hole, how it works. But the ones who fall into it, they know very well what it is to fall into donut hole. Okay. Um, do you have any questions so far? So no? This year, we still have the uh, 250 or 310? That was only for 2010. Yeah. This year, the change is that you get 50% discount for your brand name drugs and 7% for the generic drugs. That's the change this year. Okay. Um, oh, let me explain the counseling part of the high cap program. Uh, so one in Alameda County, the, the, the one that I work for, we have about 38 to 40 um, volunteers. We train them twice a year. So we take in new train, uh, trainees. And uh, this year, I'm very proud to present our Taiwanese speaking counselor. He's new, he's brand new. He just got registered by the state. He lives in Fremont. So, uh, you know, we, we're kind of lacking in the, the language access never worked for a, an agency where we don't have the language capacity because I always worked for Asian community agencies. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of different. Um, but 38 to 40, almost 40 because they're almost close to graduating from the training. What happens to them is um, they will be trained 40 hours and then they will go through the testing. And then they will pass the test and they will be state registered high cap counselors. So we meet once every two months. Um, they're updated, just like you know, CAPS uh, meeting. We get updated on our information and they get trained and um, you know, whatever uh, information we need to exchange. So every other month we meet at the county office and they are located in throughout the Alameda County. For example, we have two in Fremont. We have one in Hayward um, Social Security Office. We have uh, San Leandro Marina Community Center and Ashland Community Center. In Oakland, we have about four. Uh, in Dublin, Livermore, uh, Albany, three in Berkeley. So these counselors see clients maybe like one hour slot for their Medicare you know, assistance. So they will call our office,
And then, um, you know, we asked them, where do you live? You know, is this a good place for you to go? And then they booked an appointment and then they will go to the counselor. So you see how, that's how it works. So please utilize if you need um, any help. Okay, so uh, any other questions? You don't have any questions? I think uh, you want to address something like uh, the health reform. Yeah. Health reform maybe so far what's going on and uh, just provide the information to the audience. Yeah, so uh, those are the changes for 2010, the $250 check for the donor hole. No, I mean for the health reform, for the uh, Obama's health reform. That was the, that was, those were the changes from the Obama's health reform. Yeah, yeah. so uh, there are all these different changes for um, health care uh, re reform, through health care reform, but the implementation year is are all different. They are not all happening in 2011. <coughs> some changes are happening in 2012, some changes are happening in 2014, one of the changes, I think, is uh, for the health insurance for your children. Um, like, let's say I work for a company and my daughter just uh, went to college, so she had, she could just enroll in her school. No, not that one, I have older ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think through the healthcare reform, you can be under your parents' health insurance until you're 26. That does not happen until 2012. <laughs> so all these different implementation years are, um, you know, they're kind of changing every year. I, I don't have, uh, maybe the Congress, you know, Senator uh, Ellen Corbett's office have better ideas. So we, for us in our office, we just um, take care of the Medicare changes. <laughs> okay? Yes. Early on. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for bringing that up because that's one of the healthcare reforms. The companies who were under benchmark plans, if they're opting out next year, they are required to send out letters now. So they, they should notify the client. Yeah. Like AARP this year, they, they started getting letters in October. Like this one um, senior apartment I went out to, there were like about 30, well it's a big place, it's like 400 units. So there were like 30 to 34 seniors who were enrolled under the AARP uh, drug company and they all received a letter saying that we are not going to be, um, no, they didn't say we're not going to be benchmarked, they said from next year your uh, premium will be $34 a month, which means it's not a benchmark plan anymore. They are required to notify. And um, through healthcare reform, one of the changes is that the benchmark companies cannot change too much anymore. I don't know what it means. They didn't say, once you're a benchmark plan, you're locked in there, but they cannot, just fewer changes, that's what it says. Twenty percent service coverage for Medicare? Not, not covered. Not covered. Yeah. For example, um, I gave you example of being hospitalized, but let's say I go see a doctor. Okay. I think they charge like one hundred seventy-five dollars per visit. For some, then you're responsible for that twenty percent of that cost. Yeah. Uh, it could be a lot of money, right? If you get sick a lot, so then people would want to buy a Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare Advantage plan does cost, so if you enroll in Kaiser, um, it costs almost $100 a month. So that's like your payment every month. And then you'll, they will cover the whole thing. So I don't work for Kaiser, so don't get me wrong. <laughs> so HICAP is the only neutral counseling agency that you will find. Uh, this year, it, this time of the year is very, very hectic for seniors because they receive so many advertisements through mail, and then uh, they were they used to call, but I, I think they're forbidden to do that for uh, marketing strategy. Anyway, they, they will call.
policy. I'd like to discuss your Medicare plan. 